Aloha, I'm Reverend Dr. Glenn Swartout. Welcome to Mentorship University. Mentorship is, uh, is an interesting concept. You know, the, the term uh, actually, as it's used now, as a, you know, a wise uh, teacher, a, a senior colleague that's imparting wisdom and experience to a younger uh, colleague, really goes back to the 1700s uh, based on a book that was very popular uh, uh, about the adventures of Telemachus written in 1699 in French. Uh, so Telemachus was the son of Odysseus, you know, a subject of the, the Odyssey, a uh, famous Greek story of really a classical hero's journey. And, and the hero's journey uh, stick with this journey that we're on here you'll you'll be hearing more about that because uh, it uh, turns out that that the stages in the hero's journey uh, have been studied in across various all the cultures and and they correlate it's it's not uh, not just a story it's the story of life of your life of our life uh, of human life of how we meet the challenges of developing our spirit, our consciousness, and how we manifest the blessings that, that we can uh, attain through that and share those with, with others. And that's what we're all about at, at uh, Mentorship University. So, but who is mentor? And why do we use mentor's name uh, when we're speaking of, you know, a, a senior coach, for example, uh, a teacher, a wise uh, guide? Well, mentor was uh, a friend of, of Odysseus and, and uh, so trusted that, that uh, he was one of the people that, that Odysseus trusted his son Telemachus to when he went off to the Trojan War. And uh, so uh, he was gone a long time and during that time uh, other men uh, in, in Greece, uh, you know, wanted to gain control of the kingdom. So they were, you know, saying, oh, Odysseus, is, he's gone, he's not going to come back, he he's, must be dead by now. And, and so there were many suitors who were, were uh, vying for the, the uh, hand of Penelope, the, uh, Odysseus' wife, the mother of Telemachus. And uh, so where Mentor came in was, uh, it was not only you know, the, the caretaker and advisor uh, of, of Telemachus, but as a, uh, a spiritual man, he was able to, to allow the divine uh, wisdom to flow through him, not just from his past knowledge, his ego knowledge, but from the, the distributed, uh, all-encompassing knowledge that when we get into the non-local aspects of consciousness, you know, the, the spirit, the beyond the mind, but the spirit, uh, and we'll go into this in great depth uh, as we look at the hero's journey in, in, in subsequent talks. Uh, <clears throat> so it, the way the Greeks understood this was to say that Athena, the goddess Athena, came in the form of mentor. You know, the divine intelligence came through this real man, living man, mentor's body is another way to look at it, uh, interpret it, and, and counsel the son Telemachus to, 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 you know, to ward off the suitors and even to go on a journey, a hero's journey himself, to find his father and find out what truly happened. Uh, because they had no confirmation that of his death, so it was, you know, necessary to track him down, find out what really happened before, you know, we can allow suitors to, to uh, marry Penelope and take over the kingdom. Uh, so, uh, so mentorship is this idea of not only not just a, a, a teacher with greater knowledge, but uh, you know ultimately the, the the teacher's teacher, the you know like Christ was called teacher, rabbi. Why? Because he had the words of divine wisdom. He was coherent, fully coherent with the divine. Why did he say that we will do greater miracles? Because we all have that potential. That's how we're made. We're made to be like gods. Not like God, capital G, the one God, but as cells in the divine 
being, cells in the body of Christ, we say spiritually, we are called to that very uh, high standard of becoming saints, becoming cells, truly viable cells in God's body. So when we leave the mortal coil behind, we navigate the heavens and functionally become cells uh, in, in that divine commerce, you know, of, of giving of ourselves through love for the sake of others, because ultimately we all are one in that, in that div divinity, uh, in that relationship of, of like cells in your body. You know, doesn't the liver cell help the kidney cell by breaking down toxins, making them water soluble, eliminating them through the bile to avoid the kidneys in some cases? Um, so every cell in your body, when it's in communication with the whole, with the transcendent divine nature uh, that, that transcends its local environment and the organ and tissue that it's located in, it's a functional cell and it's responding to the light communication, the, the, the coherent photons that uh, Professor Fritz Popp has been studying for decades that, that communicate between cells uh, and, and have their greatest communication at the moment of cell death. That, that gives up the ghost, that the light is coherent light, like laser light, laser light that can go to the moon and back and not lose its coherence, its, its energy, its power and force, its vitality. It transcends time. It transcends space. Again, that's our deeper nature that we're here to develop and to develop as uh, ourselves, to develop as coaches to help others, and to develop through mentorship uh, and, and to become the mentors, to, to bring the divine present. It's our mission. It's our goal. It's our purpose. Welcome.